Remember when logging onto the World Wide Web used to look and sound like this? Connection was far from instant, but for the earliest internet adopter, this was the reward, the first ever web page. It described Tim Berners-Lee's vision for the web, how to use it, and how powerful it could be in terms of knowledge sharing and collaboration. It opened up a space that was just for computer scientists to ordinary people. Anybody can surf, surf, surf a website, anybody can make a website. And the way he made it happen was by making it free, and making it simple, and making it something that anybody could use. To mark the website's 30th anniversary, the Centre for Computer History in the UK has launched an exhibition showcasing just how far technology has come in those three decades. Among the items on display in Cambridge are the first ever search engine and the dancing baby, one of the earliest viral videos. But the old machines are proving a bit baffling for some youngsters. They're quite interesting, but I, f I don't really know how to use them. Like I'm finding this mouse really irritating, like I'm used to just scrolling, um, it's just hard to use. <laughs> Very slow, they're, they're a lot slower now, I, I don't think I could live with one now, they're just way too slow. Yeah, you look at it and you're like squinting because it's such bad graphics. So. But the first website also opened the way for abuses like bullying and harassment, recruiting by radical groups, hacking and ransomware attacks. The internet has revolutionised the way we work and play, but every move we make on the web is being recorded. And that data trail that's left behind, well, it has consequences that society is yet to work out how to deal with. Yeah, uh, every time you use the internet, um, you're probably giving away a little bit of data about yourself. It might seem benign, um, but take that information and add it to some other information that you gave away on another site and some other information you gave away on another site, this could all be aggregated together and used to build a picture of who you are, what you like to do, um, and be used for any number of purposes. Data can be exploited in many ways, but misinformation is thought to have the most widespread impact. So we know that elections have had things happen within them that we didn't really see coming, um, and that was using um, online social media uh, to influence people because of the things that they'd also done. So they were marketing towards a group of people that they knew could be turned one way or the other. Glorious innovation and unintended consequences. That's the legacy of the first ever website and the 30 years of progress it's fuelled. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Cambridge.